Following the devastating earthquake of 1906, a massive amount of lumber was needed to rebuild San Francisco. And much of that lumber was transported by railroad from the redwood forests in Humboldt County. Felling these massive redwoods and loading them onto trains required tough lumberjacks. The job was not just dangerous, but deadly, and there was no ambulances. There were, however, railroad speeder cars. Extreme physical labor, extreme danger. And as I mentioned, they would have these crew cars on hand if they had to run somebody back to camp. From spring to fall, the Timber Heritage Association offers speeder car rides down different sections of Humboldt County's old logging tracks. This particular ride along Eureka Slough. At one time, there were 53 independent different railroads. Tour guide Thaddeus Wu says speeder cars were like the utility vehicles of the tracks. Like their name suggests, speeder cars were not only fast moving, but fast acting because they generally ran on gas powered engines instead of steam. Steam locomotive, we're talking four or five hours to come up to steam to be able to get out on the track. Whereas with these gas powered uh, cars, they can just fire them up and get out there. The Timber Heritage Association speeder car is actually a crew car, which hauled several workers up to the forest early in the morning so they could cut logs before the steam train arrived. Traditionally, you'll see speeders are little two-person, very, very short little things. If you want to see what smaller speeder cars look like, Joseph Oliver will show you one at the Timber Heritage Museum. You could sit on it like this and operate it from these controls up here and as long as you keep your feet clear of the tracks, you should be good. Well, the museum has a whole line of different speeder cars they're restoring and as primitive and dangerous as they look, speeder cars were much less labor intensive than hand cars, which were human powered and very impractical for long haul distances. It could be 20 miles, it could be 100. The railroads here were pretty long and they had a lot of mountainous terrain. And Today, the Timber Heritage speeder cars are limited to the remaining historic tracks, which are only a few miles long, but very scenic. Passengers get a good look at Humboldt Bay, and drivers along Highway 101 get a unique look at the speeder cars. We get out there, we're gonna get a lot of honks and a lot of waves. They're not as big or powerful as a locomotive, but there's something special about cruising along in an open air speeder car. From the Timber Heritage Crew Car Speeders in Eureka, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.